hello guys welcome back you can see my auxiliary engines or you can say diesel generator my third engineer was doing some routine works taking some uh, measurement so i plan to test all the alarms so that uh, i'll finish my monthly routine of testing alarms so these are the alarms which i am going to test starting air pressure low low boil low pressure trip low boil low priming pressure alarm low boil differential pressure for filter ht water inlet pressure low fuel oil difference pressure low ht water inlet temperature high trip low boil inlet pressure low low boil inlet temperature high fuel leak off and exhaust temperature high so here you can see all these alarms are there they are working on pressure switch these are some uh, alarm list and this is my uh, you can say alternated details name plate uh, just for your reference so these are my three auxiliary engines so before uh, showing you the testing of alarm uh, i will show you the basic how these uh, pressure switches work this is the main wall for starting air so if you are going to do any maintenance you can shut it off so we'll go ahead and test our first alarm low boil low priming pressure alarm so you have to put in manual stop it uh, your priming motor uh, will stop and there will be a low pressure which will activate the alarm so uh, like this this is your uh, terminal box which connect your generator with uh, your engine control room so guys these are your pressure switches so uh, to activate any of the alarm Uh, you have to go shut this red color wall and you have to uh, using a spanner you have to open this nut so that the line pressure will get reduced and your pressure sensor uh, will activate the alarm let's say uh, uh, in general the line pressure is 4 uh, bar so your alarm setting will be near about 1 bar or 1.5 bar so your if the line pressure comes to 1.5 it activates the alarm this is how your pressure switches uh, looks uh, we have a diaphragm on which our uh, pressures line pressure will act and uh, which is connected to a uh, spring and then uh, to a micro switch and these two white color wire which is uh, giving signal to your control system so guys this is your uh, block diagram of pressure switch uh, below you can see process inlet port which is your uh, line pressure which will uh, be acting on diaphragm and this is uh, a range spring which absorb that pressure and uh, give signal to micro switch and based on the set point uh, which is set by the user it activates the alarm and the terminals are there uh, which give signal to your control system so guys all these pressure switches uh, the procedure for testing is same so what we have to do we have to close this red color valve and open that uh, nut so that line pressure will get reduced and the set alarm will be activated so i am not going to show you the same process again and again so uh, it's just that all pressure switches uh, works on the same function and in the testing is same here you can see uh, for the safety reason i am also closing the sampling line valve uh, and the wall red color wall which is connected to the pressure sensor so if let's say let's say if your pressure sensor uh, red color wall is not holding your sampling line uh, valve will hold it so you can see uh, i am doing the same process again and again for all these pressure switches so you can see uh, this nut i have removed uh, you you will find some little oil from there if you talk about starting air pressure low boil priming pump motor uh, low boil low pressure trip ht water inlet pressure low alarm low boil inlet pressure low alarm low boil filter differential pressure high or fuel oil low pressure so all these uh, low pressure alarm which is working on the pressure switch uh, total 7 to 8 alarms are there so all these are working uh, on same principle so the funda for testing all these alarms are same you have to close the red color valve and open it so that line pressure will reduce and it will activate your alarm uh, guys we have two uh, differential pressure alarms uh, pressure switches so basically they are uh, taking the sample from two of the point uh, line pressure and the filter outlet so basically it is detecting the your fuel oil or lube oil filters are uh, dirty or not and based on the difference uh, it gives the alarm so 
to test the alarm uh, you just need to do that uh, you have to close one of the valve for one of the sampling point so the difference will be created from my opinion testing uh, auxiliary engine alarms are uh, uh, easier than testing incinerator alarm so guys if you are testing auxiliary engine alarm make sure uh, you are having a walkie talkie or a communication medium with you and one guy should be standby at uh, control room and updating you about the alarm the uh, activated alarm and uh, once uh, you make the alarm normal the alarm monitoring system should indicate that the alarm is normal so once you make uh, the line pressure normal uh, don't forget to purge the line because it's going to give a false alarm so guys uh, i guess you are clear with the pressure sensors how to test them and how to activate these alarms we'll move ahead and test uh, the temperature sensor alarms so there are two method how you are going to test your temperature sensor alarm one is using your calibrator so that uh, you bring the required temperature to the set point and raise the alarm or you can say you you are going to activate the switches which will give alarm or the second method is to bring down the setting to the current set point let's say uh, current temperature is 60 in this case you can see the set point is 90 degree uh, and i'm going to change the setting from 90 to close to 50 or 60 so the alarm will be activated uh, this is your basically st water inlet high temperature alarm trip so i have tested it and it is working well guys this is your fuel leak off pot so you have to open this nut and you can see the float is there you just need to lift that float to activate the fuel leak off alarm so you can see i have lifted it up and um within uh, based on the timer setting it can be 20 second or 10 second your fuel leak off alarm will be activated so this is very simple so once you're done close this and we'll move ahead to next if you want to test uh, your pressure transmitter like uh, you have a fuel uh, line pressure transmitter low wall line pressure transmitter which uh, give you pressure reading on alarm monitoring system so if you want to test them best way to test them is to change the setting uh, in your panel alarm monitor system uh, make the setting to low so that your alarm will be activated guys uh, this is your exhaust uh, high temperature sensor so if you want to test it uh, use a calibrator and bring the set point to the alarm value your alarm will be activated these are uh, your alarm list from alarm monitoring panel uh, just for your reference so we are done with the alarm testing in my next video i am going to show you the routine maintenance of alternator so don't forget to watch that video and see you in the next video till then bye bye take care